ओके गाइस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट जेनेटिक टूल्स व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके सो व्हाट इज जेनेटिक टूल्स मींस यू नो हाउ वी कैन एडिट आवर जीनोम दैट इज जेनेटिक टूल्स सो यू नो नॉर्मली द डीएनए विल गिव राइज टू आरएनए एंड आरएनए विल गिव राइज टू प्रोटीन्स ओके सो नाउ यू कैन डू टू थिंग्स व्हाट आर द टू थिंग्स यू कैन डू सो आई द यू कैन डायरेक्टली कट द डीएनए इटसेल्फ सो इफ यू कट द डीएनए इटसेल्फ दिस इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज knock out technology what is this called as knock out technology or you what you can do is either you cut the rna or you decrease the protein synthesis okay so whenever you change the rna expression this is called knock down technology so basically genes can be altered either you cut the dna or you alter the rna so knock out technology is permanent modification obviously if you change the dna then it is not going to revert isn't it so this is done by a molecule called as crispr whereas when you change the rna you have not cut the dna so this is a temporary modification and this is usually done by micro rnas okay so this is usually done by micro rna so micro rna usually do knock down technology crispr does knock out technology so let's understand what are they and how do they work first let's talk about knock out which is a temporary modification okay so let us see how does a knock down technology works see knock down technology usually works with the help of double stranded rna so this double stranded rna is usually a hairpin shaped hairpin looped rna so this rna is basically on pre micro rna which is formed in the nucleus and when it is exported out of the nucleus this is exported with the help of a molecule called expo5 now once this double stranded rna comes out into the cytoplasm this is immediately acted upon by a molecule called as dicer which breaks this double stranded into single stranded micro rna now this single stranded micro rna doesn't know that where i have to go what molecule i have to work on so it needs a car so its car is ribosome induced silencing complex okay so it sits in its car so what is the car a ribosome induced silencing complex it sits in the car and it goes to the target site so now let's look at this okay so let's say this is the target rna so this is the target mrna it's coming let's say you have a sickle cell problem so patient is having sickle cell dna it is producing sickle cell rna and then sickle cells are coming in the blood and causing problem so what you can do you can cut the sickle cell rna itself if you cut the sickle cell rna and automatically sickle cells will not come in the blood then there will be no vasoclusive lysis no anemia so how can you do this so you can do this with the help of so you how you can do this so you can do this with the help of micro rna 